Okay, so for this video, I'm remotely logged into the server using TeamViewer and um, then looking at the XProtect Smart Client just to see if we can read plates on vehicles that are traveling into the property line and out of the property line. This is the target capture area right here in this area. Um, anything beyond here is not the property line and isn't really a concern. So for example, you're not going to see or expect to see license plates right here. But if you zoom in digitally, you can probably make out a few characters. It's not until they get to this zone right here where you want to clearly be able to uh, read the plate so that the Milestone LPR software can import it into its database. And everything is showing very, very clearly in my opinion. Um, without a doubt, you can easily read license plates for vehicles traveling in and out. It's, it's uh, undisputable. We can even do like a digital zoom into this area here and get a good read on vehicles that are going to be in this zone. It's kind of choppy because I'm over Team Viewer on a different network. So um, we can go into playback mode, for example, if the cars have stopped coming. This is a pretty useful feature of Milestone, this independent playback. It allows you to uh, go into playback on one camera view without leaving the live uh, tab. And again, you can actually make out license plates over here. It's not, I mean, you, could, you have to zoom in digitally and, you know, try to read them. Whereas over here, um, there's really undisputable evidence of that license plate. Okay, let's scroll out a little bit. So, in this area here, we have this Lexus SUV. So, that's a pretty clear read there. And this uh, Mercedes sedan. Very clear read there. It's got some vehicles coming in. go back a little bit to get the vehicles coming in. Okay, there's one right there. And as long as we're on this, we can back up a tiny bit more. And uh,
I mean, very clear read without even having to stop and zoom in, getting reads on both lanes, here, here. And as long as we're on this camera, we might as well go into playback. I just want to get an idea of what we were looking at in nighttime mode. So probably around 10-ish last night is where we want to be. Let's go back to this area here. just to see what kind of video was captured. What we're going to do to really dial down the configuration settings of this camera is not really on the camera but on the milestone software we're just going to block all motion that is maybe beyond this area right here because we don't really care about I mean I guess it's really up to the client if they want to record let's back up a bit on that one So at night time, I think it's kind of grainy. I think it could be better at night time. Uh, maybe try to increase the digital noise reduction. So yeah, still kind of grainy, even uh, on a closer image. So digital noise reduction should help with that. at 30 second intervals right now um, let's go and make this one minute intervals it's not really a whole lot of action last night let's go back in time here I guess we can look at 30 second intervals 
and just go back to maybe How about around 10 p.m.? We saw a lot of action around 10. And we're looking at doing it yesterday. So. That one didn't have a front license plate. We have to go back a little bit more here. We can try going back. Oh. front license plate on this vehicle and sometimes you won't that one I did see something that third one I guess you can't really do any kind of real viewing here uh, in terms of maximizing the screen, but uh, you do get an idea of where the motion occurred. So around be a lot more motion in the earlier hours here. So again, this is really just uh, going through the video to ensure we can see license plates in daytime and nighttime. It's not uh, a true depiction of how Milestone LPR works because that part has not yet been set up. But this looks like a pretty clear read. Uh, it's actually kind of brainy. So we will have to adjust the nighttime mode to increase the DNR. image.